Hello, and welcome to quietflyer.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk about building a true backyard flyer, a micro RC airplane that you're going to convert from an electronic kit that you can purchase. Now, you can certainly, electronic free flight, I'm sorry, you can certainly go ahead and go with a balsa plane, which is a lot of fun, as you see here. But, you can also go ahead and build one from a styrofoam kit. I purchased this biplane for $8.86 on clearance from Harbor Freight Tools. You can purchase any of these three planes. And just to give you an idea of size, the glider is, this is an 18 inch ruler. Oh, it's clearly probably a good 22 inches. The wingspan on the Cessna here is 13, no, about 14 inches, sorry. And roughly 15 inches on the biplane. The Cessna would be a great conversion and I've already seen those done and for sale. It's probably the, my favorite little flyer out of the bunch here. And it will go two, three football fields in length on a single charge. So, about the kit that I got from Harbor Freight. What it looks like on the inside is this. You've got your wings, both wings obviously, and your elevator. Excuse me, not your, yeah, yes, yes, your elevator. Your fuselage. Your charging component with a NICAD in there. Nice little foam wheel well, wheels with uh, pants. And your prop. And then obviously go ahead and space uh, the uh, framing for your wings. It's already got a tail uh, piece on there. Now, what I did is I just very carefully cut this fuselage apart. And as you can see, I have it empty. You'll be able to make a crease in the tail. I didn't remove the uh, rudder. I used a, grabbing just the uh, tip of the prop, I pulled it out with a pair of pliers so that I could get inside and cut uh, where it sticks to the foam and get a fairly clean, nice cut. The goal is to lighten as much as possible. I removed the tail skin. I removed the foam man pilot. As you can see, I carved them up. I still need to sand that out. As well as the framing for the wings, which I will go ahead and redo all of that with balsa. The goal is to make this as light as you possibly can. Motor-wise... You, gonna, you can use, obviously, a gear drive motor, which is what I'm going to use. It's a, I'm going to use an A drive. It's a 4 to 1 ratio with a 5.43 prop. A 7.4 two cell LiPo battery at 350 megahertz. Your engine will look something like this. Quite, quite tiny. And to give you an idea of size for um, my servos and my receiver, my servos that I have are blue arrows. They're 3.6 grams each, and I'm doing two of them. And you can see the size of my receiver in there as well. I'm using a... Um, 7 amp Pixie Castle Creations um, speed control. I've got my control horns here from Dubro, and I'll also use Dubro um, control rods. And I won't be painting this, I won't be adding any extra weight. I want to keep this as minimal as possible. Therefore, I'll probably remove, obviously, the sticker, 
I'll remove, uh, I'll cut off as much plastic of that as I can. I'll probably keep just the framing for the wheels. I might do away with it and build a wooden one. But anyways, it should be a nice flying RC plane and um, great for indoors. And I suspect that you can have a lot of fun uh, with it as well. I think scale wise, they're nice planes. I, if, I wonder if you go ahead and use a powerful enough brushless yeah. motor. That's my son. There's a commentary in the background. If you would be able to get away with doing a um, nice paint scheme, maybe using yellow and white and trying to kind of use the pips, the pips model, I think it would look quite nice. I look forward to hearing about all of your guys' successes as you build your true backyard flyers. As you can see, based on hand size, these are not big planes. My son gets quite excited about planes. I can't wait to give him his first RC. And my understanding is uh, from my local um, RC shop that a friend of the owner or a friend of the guy that works there made this conversion already, the biplane. And it'll do rolling takeoff, touchdowns. Um, and if you put a brush this in there, I don't see why it wouldn't pull a loop off. All righty. Enjoy and have a great day and thanks for visiting quietfire.blogspot.com and I'll follow up with my bits as soon as I can get it to fly. Sayonara.